towards the end like this. Oh, where have you two been? Well, we had some serious talking to do. Oh, yeah, outside the rain? Well, as incredible as it may sound, we were not aware of the rain. Oh, oh. well, there must be some talk you had out there. What kind of talk was it? Uh, marriage talk. And Miss Virginia Fletcher has uh, consented to be my bride. Oh, Evelyn! Well, Aren't you just so happy you could bust wide open? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I am. I am. Well, let's go get those wet clothes. I want to hear everything. I'm poor. Well, <laughs> well, what do you know? Well, aren't you going to uh, say anything like congratulations? Well, hey, of course, I'm real happy to propose to you. But you have reservations. Well, this is a very serious step. You know that. Uh, most most serious step I've ever taken in my life. Marrying Jenny means that I have given up on ever trying to get back home. And you're sure you're ready to close that door for good? Positive. I've tried my best to get through it, and I realize that the door back to the future is closed to me forever. I've accepted that. My home is here. Jenny's going to be my wife, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make her happy. All right. <laughs> Well, can I hug the bride-to-be now that she's all dried off? Oh, Miss Jenny, I tell you, I bet you and Clint are going to be just as happy as me and me. Good heavens, we have quite a task before us in that case. <laughs> What's that? What is it we have to do? Well, first off, you got to set the wedding date. Oh, well, uh, can we get the parson out here in a rainstorm? Tonight? <laughs> Why not? Cody and May got married right after he popped a question. Well, whatever you like. Well, may I inject a impractical suggestion here now? Oh, by all means, please, okay. go ahead. You don't have a dress, and you don't have a suit, and Clint, you don't have any rings or anything, and you're going to need witnesses. Mm -hmm. Now, why not let's do this upright? You got a point. Yeah. Ginny deserves a fancy gown, and everything goes along with it. Well, perhaps something a bit more formal than... Yeah. Well, Will Simmons has the prettiest satins and laces at his store, and he has some rings, too, Clint. And we could go out there on the buckboard first thing in the morning. Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait back. a minute. You just got over a bad scare. Shouldn't you be taking it easy? Yeah, but I feel fine, and, you know, this is wedding work, and that's happy work, and that's real good for you. Well, if, if you do promise that you will be careful and not exhaust yourself. Yes, ma'am. In that case, I would be so happy for your help. Yes, oh, Miss and Jenny, after everything that you've done for Cody and me, it would be the greatest of pleasure. Oh. Well, a little word of warning here. Well, you know, weddings have a tendency to get a little complicated. So the less complicated we make it, the sooner we can get married. My head is suddenly filled with dozens of questions to which I have no answers. <laughs> For instance, where do we hold the ceremony? Ooh. Anywhere you want, it's fine with me. Oh, I have. Let's go in here and throw some ideas around, and then we'll come back out and see if you agree with me. Is that okay? Is that satisfactory? Fine. Come on. You have fun. Ladies, well, seeing as how this is such a special occasion, I thought it only fitting that we propose a toast to Jenny and Clint with some of this special wine. Honey, go ahead. Why don't you uh, say some further words? Okay. Um, look down, you gods, and on this couple drop a blessed crown. Very nice. Now you say something. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, you, you know I get all... Oh, come on, I, I Cody, know, just I, say something all right, from all right, your heart. All right, I'll try. Uh, well, we, we and the good Lord put you down here on the earth. He uh, gives you nothing but a little common sense in your heads and a little love and a little trust in your hearts. And if you're lucky, you find someone that you love. And you settle down and you surround yourself with good, loving friends to share that happiness. Well, if that's the case, I, I guess we're about the luckiest folks in the whole world right about now. So I don't know what else I could wish you, except that, well, you have some faith and courage in yourselves, and that every day your love grows deeper and stronger. Well, Jenny, it's not the, not the bride that's supposed to get cold feet. That's supposed to be the groom's prerogative. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Miss Jenny. I tell you, it would take wild horses to keep this man away from your wedding. Forgive me for spoiling your festive mood, but I'm afraid I must have some words with Clint inside. Well, the only important words we got left to say are, I do. Clint, please. Um, Cody.
wish she was here to share our happiness with us? Yes, yes, of course. No. No. Oakland, we are standing on the threshold of the future. And I'm afraid we must take a step back before we do something that we would regret for the rest of our lives. What is it you're so concerned about? Losing your independence? I'm a... I'm a very modern man, remember? I believe that marriage is an equal partnership. And that's exactly what we're going to have, you and I. An equal partnership in everything. Now, if it's a partnership in the bedroom that you're afraid of, you don't have to be. No, it is not that, I assure you. Then what's the problem? I'm so afraid that our passions have got the better of us. They've made us ignore reality. Reality is that I love you and you love me. Oh, Lord, yes, I do love you so do you remember I told you that the doctors in San Francisco told me that I was barren, that I could never give any... It doesn't money. matter. I'm not marrying you to have a pass with kids anyway. I'm marrying you because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yes, but you see, it's entirely possible that we do not belong together. We it? do belong together. Then please, will you not interrupt me anymore? Let me finish a sentence. It is vitally important that you understand what I'm going to... I haven't like. understood a thing since I got here to, to Buchanan City. I was very confused, I was frustrated, and not just a little bit frightened. But I'm not confused any longer, I'm not frightened any longer. All I am is convinced that fate brought us together, and we should just pay attention to our feelings. Yes, but you see, fate could just as easily tear us apart. Oh. oh, dear Lord, I love you so much. Then marry me. Marry me, and let me spend the rest of my life proving to you that nothing or no one is going to stand in the way of our happiness. What is going on out here? It's past two o'clock in the morning. What in the world huh. have you been? You sound like my pa. We went no. for a walk after the rain stopped. We assumed you had retired. Well, we were worried about you. Oh, oh yeah. is everything all right? Yes. We're just fine, thanks. Great. The, the wedding's still on and everything, right? Yes, indeed it is. Hey. Well, did you set a date on that moonlight walk here? Mm -hmm. No, you know we didn't. Why don't we do that right now? We're all right. Is there a particular date you had in mind? Tomorrow. Ooh. But I know you, uh, there's supposed to be something a little special, right? And that takes a little time. Well, let's see. It takes about a month if you really... A month? want to do it up a, a month? month? Now, oh, now, wait a minute. If we get the neighbors in on this and some of the friends we got, I think we can put this thing together and get you in front of pastor in about a week. Oh, well, do you really think that would be possible? Ma'am, if that's what you want, I'm sure we can get it done. Oh. Okay. Miss Fletcher, this is the last chance you get to change your mind. Absolutely not. I have waited a whole lifetime for you, Clint Buchanan. I'm not going to allow anything to interfere with my dream come true. 